Welcome. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. This is such, looking at the photos of what you're doing is fascinating. I want you to explain to listeners what exactly your art is. So I take latex impressions of buildings. Is that good? <laughs> Um, so it's really about memory and it's about locality at its core. And it's about looking at overlooked details that I see in the city and trying to draw attention to them. So I paint latex on buildings, basically, using cheesecloth as a base. And it has a kind of weird look to it. It kind of looks like skin, right? So I peel it off and I take this impression of the buildings and it captures bits of dust and brick dust and things like that. Like any paint, anything on the building becomes embedded in the latex. So it's kind of like painting itself. So it's sort of printmaking, it's sort of sculpture, and I sometimes treat it as installation as well. Where did you come up with the idea? So I came up with the idea a few years ago. I'd been trying to capture spaces in general, so I was thinking about um, especially NASCAD, which is when I, where I went to school in Halifax. Um, it's a really interesting building, the main campus. It's sort of like eight different building blocks that are sewn together, and there's nothing quite like it. It's like a labyrinth. So I really wanted to capture that space in some way because it's going to get torn down soon, or at least gutted. And so I thought that latex is a great material to do it because it will just capture anything and everything, even these crevices that you can't really see. And yeah, so I started in 2022 to cast in NASCAD and I treated it like my playground. And yeah, it was a great time for about a year. I was just going around and casting different interesting walls there. It was all interiors though. So this is the first time that I've done exteriors in latex in Windsor. Um, but yeah, I did my thesis show at the Annalia Nolens Gallery, which is where I worked at NASCAD. And yeah, I cast the space. I left them half up on the wall to show the peeling motion. And that was in February 2023. And what's been the reaction? I got a lot of very emotional reactions during that show. So a lot of people came in even crying because they were so attached to this building that was going to get torn down eventually. And yeah, it was just a, an amazing reaction because people were so connected to that space. And even I had worked in the gallery, the university gallery, for about three years. And I spent every weekend there alone for years and I got really really you know intimate with that space and I was really glad to be able to capture it in some way. Just even having this conversation with you makes me look at my surroundings differently mm -hmm. you know not taking for granted the fingerprints literally yeah. that are on the wall <laughs> but just sort of that history and you're able yeah. to capture it in such a way I'm wondering why Ford City was somewhere you wanted to capture in this way. Well Ford City is because the the exhibition will actually take place there on Drulard Road. And I've been doing casts around Windsor. Like there's one from Tallulah. There's, um, there's a few around town. But I did try to focus on that area just because I wanted people to walk by the gallery. And it's interesting because it's a window gallery too, right? So it's open 24-7 and anyone can see it when they pass by. So when you see it and you see something from nearby you'll look for it and you'll look for things that are similar as well. So you'll pay more attention to the details is my hope. How many casts did you make of Ford City? I think that there's one on Drulard and there's one from Seminole, from the Romanian church there. Um, I'm trying to remember the list of the others right now. I think that there's one from Walkerville as well. Um, oh, two from Walkerville actually. Yeah, and those are the main ones that I've cast that will probably be in the show. I'm wondering how this has changed the way you see our city. Do you walk around <laughs> looking for textiles yeah. <laughs> and historic walls? Yeah. And you do? Yeah, that's been my life for the past few years is just looking for things to cast. What stands out to you? Uh, what stands out to me is when I can see that something has been changed. So especially windows when they've been blocked in with brick or when the brickwork is a little bit different, things like that. I think brick is cool because there's it's so easy to see a difference in them. But really any kind of like graffiti or cracks or any traces of time that I find, that's what really draws my attention. Will the graffiti go on to the latex as well? Sometimes it does. I haven't tested it on exterior brick, but I, when I was doing it at NASCAD, I did capture some paint from walls. What about frequently. wallpaper inside? I'm thinking probably would peel Willis it off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> it doesn't like paint too much. No, yeah. I don't think so. Has there been any surprises along the way for you? Things that have shown up in the latex that you didn't expect to see? Yeah, I think there was one when I cast a window from the Romanian church on Seminole, and it's one of the oldest, or I think the or oldest Orthodox church in Windsor. And there was this crack in the window that I hadn't even noticed, mm -hmm. and I cast it, and now you can see this little line in the bottom pane on the latex. What do you have your eye on to latex next? Um, oh, there was one building I really wanted to do. It's 995 Laurier Drive in LaSalle, mm -hmm. and it's the Canadiana and Auto Museum. 
And I have not been able to contact the owners, but I've been trying. I was going there multiple times and calling a lot. Maybe they're listening now. What do you need from them? I just want to cast their windows. I saw it. It's so beautiful. (laughs) (laughs) It feels like it's almost like you're dating. You're like, "Um, so I noticed your walls are really nice and I have this solution. And I'm just thinking maybe we could get to know each other on a latex level. Yeah, a profile for this, right? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Any other areas in the region that you also have your eye on? Well, I'd love to do some more industrial buildings because I think that really speaks to Windsor's history and even its current state. So the foundry, the old foundry on Riverside Drive would be fantastic. Or I tried to do the Mac Coatings factory on the paint factory on Walker Road as well. Mm -hmm. But the owner was away when I went. So, you know, there are these things that make it kind of difficult when you're doing public work. You need to get permission for it. You need to, you know, go and ask people and plan things out a lot get permission, get permits sometimes too. This is fascinating. I could talk about all day. Um, thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank this. you so much, Amy. I really appreciate you having me here. Haristia Stanova is with is an RBC and emerging artist in residence. Her work will be on display at the Dry Goods Gallery in Four City starting tomorrow until November 17th. Maybe you can add to her list. Maybe this this is how we get our best ideas here on Windsor Morning. We're going to ask for people to send in buildings that they want to see imprints of. Maybe you can add that to your gallery. You can text those to us at 519-984-2051.